Good morning, Bobcats, and happy Thursday. Thank you for joining me for WBLS, coming to you from Bucklake Elementary School in Tallahassee, Florida. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Thank you. Today is Thursday, November the 5th of 2020, and it is Special Area Day 3. That Special Area Day 3, just a reminder to take your art supplies with you to Miss McDowell, your lanyards to hold your mask, and to make sure you go to the restroom before you go to Special Area. Thank you. Let's check out what's cooking today in the Buck Lake Cafeteria. Here's our menu for today. Our cafeteria staff is going to be serving turkey, ham, and cheese croissants, garden salad, grape tomatoes, assorted fruit. You know you're going to get your choice of white chocolate or strawberry milk. Just a reminder, Bobcats, we expect you to clean up around your table space on the floor. Make sure you gather all of your materials as you get ready to leave the lunchroom. And as you head out, make sure and give a great big thank you to any and all of those grown-ups who helped you in the lunchroom today. I know it will make your heart feel good and it will make theirs as well. Let's take a look at our weather forecast for this terrific Thursday. The high will be 79 and the low will be 61 with partly sunny skies today and tomorrow all day long. I hope you're getting out enjoying this simply almost perfect weather we're having in Tallahassee. We want to wish these Bobcats a very, very happy birthday. Miss Sylvie Berg in kindergarten, I hear it's your birthday. I hope you have a great day with your friends and your family. Hey, Avery Brown in third grade, it's your birthday, Avery, and we hope you have a fabulously fun day with your family. If you see these Bobcats at school or around town today, please make sure and wish them a very happy birthday. Here's a few jokes to tickle your funny bone this morning. What's a turkey's favorite dessert? I haven't a clue. Peach gobbler. Do you like peach cobbler? So, why do turkeys eat so little? Why do they just, they don't eat a lot. Why not? Because they're always, you got it, stuffed. Last one. What part of the turkey does a drummer love the most? What do you think it is? I'm a little puzzled. Hmm. The drumsticks. I know, I know. They just get better and better. Hey, let's take a peek at our quote of the week. We don't have to agree to be kind with to one another. Excuse me. We don't have to agree to be kind to one another. Guys, we can have a difference of opinion and be kind and respectful of people's choices often in the media center, I talk about how boring would the world be if we were all exactly alike. So it's okay to be different. It's okay to have different opinions and different views, as and you need to be respectful and kind. I know all of our Bobcats can do that. Hey, it's not too late, Bobcats. I still have veterans pictures coming in. I was proud to share my dad's story yesterday. If you have any pictures that you would like to send in, send them to Miss Young at youngk at leonschools.net. Please mark veteran in the subject line so I can make sure and um, get those. This morning, I'm actually going to share a video and we're gonna hear from a very special Bobcat veteran, one who has served her country in the Army and now continues to serve by teaching fifth graders. My name is Mrs. Doherty and I served for five years in the United States Army. While in the Army, I did my initial training on a base in Missouri called Fort Leonard Wood. And then after I graduated from my training, I was sent to Fort Carson, which is in Colorado. From Colorado, I was deployed in support of Operation Iraqi Freedom, where I spent a year in Iraq. And when they sent me home, they decided to make my husband 
uh, an army recruiter at the time, which is a person that helps people join the military. Um, after he did his training to become a recruiter, they sent us to the state of Maine so that he could recruit soldiers. We did that for a couple of years in the state of Maine. Then they moved us to the state of New Hampshire, right next door, basically, um, to do the same job. And then eventually, um, they sent us down here to Tallahassee, Florida, where he recruited uh, people out of Tallahassee um, until he retired from the military a couple of years ago. My father was in the Air Force for 26 years. I have an older sister that joined the United States Army and served for five years. And I also have an older brother that served in the Navy for three years. The biggest factor in joining the military was my family. So many people around me um, were currently serving or had served that it was just a way of life in our household. And when I went into high school, my sister, who had joined the military, um, had been in the Army for about a year, and she would come home on leave, which is what we call vacation in the military, and I would just hound her with questions on all of the things that she was doing. And I knew at that time um, that when I got out of high school that I was going to join the Army, and it was one of the best decisions I've ever made. My favorite part of the military was all the people that I served with. Um, we did a lot of really cool things together, and when you're away from home and you don't know anybody, all you have is the, is the soldier next to you. So we formed some really good relationships, and I still keep up with um, some of my battle buddies or my friends today, and, and that's truly the best part. When I think about Veterans Day, I always think about my family members that have served. I think about the people that I had the honor to serve next to. Um, but I also think about the people that are serving currently and how lucky we are to live in a place where there are people um, to sacrifice their time um, to serve this great nation. Thank you so much, Ms. Doherty, for sharing your story as a veteran that I know molded your entire life. We are so thankful for you, Ms. Doherty, giving of your years of service um, to your entire family. And of course, we are thankful to all veterans. That's all for today, Bobcats. Remember to purr, be prepared, be upstanding, be responsible, and be respectful citizens today. And in case we don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.